How many times have I seen this? And especially when I was younger, my, my mom would say, Mike, you got to go buy some more fuses, right? Because the 15 amp fuse blew in the, in the electrical panel. If you still have fuses, and I know there's still people out there that have there fuses, are. don't take out a 15 amp and put in a 20 amp or a 25 amp or a 30 amp. Don't do that. I've Why? Said it, I, I've said it a million times. Like, imagine that the breaker. The fuse, sorry, we're talking a fuse is set for 20 amps, where the wire is a 14 gauge wire that's good for 15 amps. Now we want to make sure that 80% of the load is normal use, so it's actually only good for 12 amps. But here we are, we're going to draw 15 amps every once in a while, okay, it'll hold. But if we have a circuit where we've got that little portable heater plugged in, and for argument's sake, I don't know, your TV. If the circuit starts to pull more than 15 amps, the wire starts to get hot. Then the fuse turns around and says, hey, I'm good for 20 amps. Meanwhile, the wire is still getting hot. So what's going to burn first? The 20, 25, or sorry, 20 amp fuse or the wire that's only good for 15? The wire. Once that blows, where in the wall do you think that it it blew. Which is your guess as good as mine. Yeah, but that, and they're lucky that it didn't cause a fire because well, think may. about that wire heating up. But it may. That's the trick. A lot of people take a chance and say, oh, wire blew and it's, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It is an electrical fire waiting to happen. So, or it can be. It can. The reason people will pull out a 15 amp fuse and put in a 20 amp fuse as a, an example is because that fuse keeps blowing. And there's a reason that fuse keeps blowing, and that's what everyone is missing. Yes. There's a reason. So don't up it, because it will, by upping it from a 15 amp to a 20, you are creating a possible fire hazard for your home. 